Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're back inside of Disneyland to jump on the Haunted Mansion again for the very first time since its grand reopening just a few days ago. And we'll also give you a complete breakdown on how the new virtual queue system works for this ride as well. We will also be trying some new exclusive foods that have recently released here at the parks, and we'll be on the hunt for any new Halloween time at Disneyland merchandise that has come out this week, as well as taking a complete tour around the park to talk about any new updates that have popped up since the last time we were here. It's all in this video and much more so stay tuned. But before we get started with today's video, guys, if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you guys do enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed and tap that notification bell to be notified when we do drop a new video. So let's get started. All right, we just got to the parking structure. It's 838 and we have a reservation for Haunted Mansion starting at, all right, the latest we could get there, I should say, is 914. So you can see we're kind of strapped for time. Uh, of course, parking was a little bit crazy today. But we're gonna go through the elevator, check in, and we'll see you guys in the park. So it's 8.54 and we're running a little bit behind. Apparently we have 20 minutes to get to Haunted Mansion. So we can see if we're actually gonna make it. So it's time to power walk. And these walls that are up, man, they are throwing us off. But always pass that first one cause like everyone loads up, but let's go check in. And 8.55, we are inside. So officially one minute to check in. It's time to head over there. <laughs> All right, once you walk in, I probably shouldn't be reviewing this right now since we're in such a big hurry but it looks like the new bubble wand came out and it'll run $35. I swear these things just get more and more expensive every single year. And then we also have the uh, lanyards that we showed in yesterday's video. And I believe these are $20 and 49 cents. All right, we're here on Main Street. We finally made it inside and we are quite excited to get on the Haunted Mansion and we need to get on this today. That would be really fun. So we'll see if we can do that. We're still power walking. I feel like we are those Disney My people right now. Out. I'm like, oh, <laughs> oh man, this is the first time I feel like we are an out of towner. We just gotta get somewhere. <laughs> so let's go. So I have officially burned 100 calories today. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We are almost there. We're gonna walk through uh, Frontierland, trying to figure out where there's no people. Man, the virtual queue is getting us or our blood flowing this morning. The ducks are even in a hurry this morning. Hi guys. I feel like there's a specific code of like you guys walking fast and other people who are walking fast. I feel like you gotta look at each other and kind of give like the little head nod. <laughs> you guys, I'm walking so fast. My eyes are like crying. I'm like this, like walking, trying to like get to where I need to go. So good thing I know the land because I can't see right now. And Lonnie is just lounging back. Girl, you have it yeah, easy today. So <laughs> and as we're walking past, it looks like Pirates of the Caribbean is down at the moment. Is it Caribbean or Caribbean? I say Caribbean. Caribbean? Caribbean. I always say Caribbean for some reason. It probably is Caribbean. And our location is over here, actually over there, but same thing. And it looks like there is a little sign for the Haunted Mansion Holiday Virtual Queue. And there goes Nicole. All right, it's 9.02. We just made it here to the Haunted Mansion. So I guess you could say we made it with time to spare. We just have to drop off the stroller and jump in this crazy line. The music is spooky. So we just got confirmation that this is um, going to be virtual queue for as long as the construction is happening. So you can see the construction over here. So that's pretty much what we're going to see with the Haunted Mansion for now. like the line actually kind of cuts off like right here on the corner and we're gonna go like directly inside so it kind of beats like that whole queue that was happening back here so that's kind of nice so it's 9 13 we actually made it one minute prior to a reservation but i guess it didn't really matter because we already checked in but it's kind of cool i guess we made it from our house here in less than an hour so kind of fun would you guys consider this a hidden mickey if so hit that like button
guys, so we just got done with the Haunted Mansion and that was incredible. I always love seeing that ride, especially like the holiday turnover. How did you guys like it? There's always like one or two things, she's giving it a thumbs up. <laughs> There's always one or two things that scare me and I'm never ready for it, but she took it like a champ. But let's talk about how the uh, virtual queue system works now. And like we've talked about right before we got in the Haunted Mansion, this is a virtual queue based ride only, meaning you gotta be on your phone at 7 a.m. in the morning. I'd advise getting on there like maybe one or two minutes quicker than the 7 a.m. opening time because right at seven, you're gonna be able to join the virtual queue and be able to get your actual passes. Now, if you are in the parks at 12 o'clock, you can also do it that way as well. And now that one, you do have to be in the parks. The one at seven o'clock, you don't necessarily need to be, but again, you have to be fast or else your boarding group time could be pretty late in the afternoon. So definitely keep that in mind. I also have a YouTube short that I'll link up above. You guys can check that out for more information. And if you are a parent, keep in mind guys, right over here behind like Harbor Galley is like this extra like seated area. So we like to come over here sometimes just because it's not so like crowded and it's just like a nice peaceful spot to chill and sit, get a little bit of shade. But unfortunately Harbor Galley doesn't open till I think, was it 11? So unfortunately we can't get any food right now, but it is really cool, it's super peaceful. Does look like it ends right here though, just because of the rides. It smells like the yummy cookies. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, but yeah, and then there's the pirates layer. So a pretty nice little spot. What do you think, Raylani? She likes that all the little birds are right here. So she's like, look at this, look at this. And also keep in mind guys, you cannot go inside of Star Wars Galaxy's Edge or Critter Country at the moment. Unfortunately, we have these walls that are up and they should be coming down of course once tiana opens but just keep in mind if you do see these like pathway signs that is the reasoning and also right across from the haunted mansion if you guys are wanting still some disney 100 fun things it looks like they have the disneyland train uh, popcorn bucket and also right next to it at this popcorn stand we have oogie boogie popping some popcorn kind of fun so we just finished up over there in the Haunted Mansion area. Now it's time to come over here and see my favorite band. I guess you could call them a band, I'm not too sure, here in New Orleans Square. It's time to go inside Port Royal Curios and Curiosities. I probably messed that up, but let's go see what new merch they have. It looks like they have the Haunted Mansion. So it looks like inside here, they have plenty of the Nightmare Before Christmas stuff every year during the Halloween season. Actually. Pretty much year round they have some really cool things and one thing that i saw was this really cool jack and sally headband and it looks like they're kind of like what tarot cards so kind of neat those are nice and for 48.99 something that's actually kind of heavy is the nightmare before christmas countdown calendar and it's kind of cool because i guess you could have christmas counting down pretty much all year round <laughs> so i think this is kind of cool and for $19.99, it looks like they have this Night Before Christmas holiday mug, which says, looking for trouble, two faces are better than one. And then on the front, it has kind of like Jack with a zero. And I say kind of because he's kind of like offset. Kind of like the TikTok logo, right? But you could pick this up in here as well. And if you guys got little ones, I know it's a little bit too early, but I guess for Night Before Christmas, it's never too early for Christmas. They have a Jack like two piece which is really cute and this will run $34.99 and it also looks like they have tons of the new villains collection here as well so this isn't something that we've pointed out yet but it's kind of nice that they have it here so they have a new hat for Maleficent and this is $29.99 looks kind of nice I don't know I just feel like some of the merchandise this year has been a little bit cheapened up if you guys have seen in our Halloween time merch from yesterday but I mean, it still looks cool. And then for $34.99, we have the Ursula ears, which look really cool. I love that the glossy finish on the top. And I think they did a marvelous job with these. And for $64.99, we have a button-up villain shirt, which I actually really like. I've been wearing a lot of the button-up shirts recently, so this would be actually kind of fun to have in the collection. And it is a really nice, like, material. Every time Disney does, like, button-up shirts, I feel like they do a really good job. So I may need to get this one. And for $39.99, we have a villain's, like, side bag, which, again, the quality feels really good. It feels really durable, like, the strap and everything. But I feel like it's missing something. 
I don't know. I don't really want to be like bashing the collection, but I don't know, just compared to like years past, I feel like merchandise has looked a little bit better. Uh, maybe like these guys, maybe being like puffed out and charge us like five more dollars for this. And I think you'd have a semi masterpiece, but nonetheless, it does look really cool. And for $24.99, we have a new Hades cup, which looks pretty nice. I mean, I kind of like how it looks like it's offset from like that inside piece, giving it like a two-toned color like this one. And also for $34.99, we have the Maleficent dragon ears, which look really cool as well. And right next to it, we have a returning Maleficent horn headband as well. And these will both run you $34.99. And also right outside this store, we have an area where they have some new holiday headbands. And it looks like we have a few new ones that we haven't seen quite yet. These look really cute. It looks like we have some like Mickey pumpkins and some other spooky things on this one. And then of course, a returning item is the Mickey holiday headband with the big Mickey pumpkin, which we really like this returning one every year. I think the one Nicole has, has like the like plaid print on it and it doesn't look as great. So I do feel like these are a must for the Halloween time season. It is now 10 o'clock and it has pushed up to about 69 degrees. It still feels really nice outside. However, you can start to feel like the sun actually starting to come out. But we're still enjoying our day. The Haunted Mansion was so much fun. And we do have more fun things to do in this video. And now that I think about it, Pirates of the Caribbean is actually closed at the moment. I totally forgot about that. They're doing some like refurbishments, but it shouldn't happen for too long. So I'll have like the dates on the screen so you guys can see. Or those of you guys who are already watching this video could already be after the fact and it should already be back open. But again, having these big rides closed during this time of year is kind of crazy. The summertime is really like swamped with people and these rides really do hold a lot of people. So it's unfortunate to see, but we understand it has to happen. Now we have made our way over here to the Pioneer Mercantile store. And I have seen a few Halloween, and I have seen a few Halloween pieces of merchandise in here. So let's go see what we can find. All right, so Elani and I are making our way back to Main Street because we're gonna go pick up a cookie that she wants from Candy Palace. So let's see how this goes. Okay, so I said Candy Palace, but we're gonna enter through the Penny Arcade and let's see what we pick. She ended up choosing the pineapple cookie. Okay, Miss Raylani, you got the pineapple cookie. Go ahead and take your first bite. Oops. How is it? <laughs> is it everything you thought of? It tastes like pineapple? <laughs> and sure enough, it looks like we have some of the same items that we saw yesterday inside this store, including this really cool looking stitch, which will run you $69.99. We also have right below it, the lounge fly bag that we saw yesterday as well. And this will run you $88, I believe. And of course, some really hot items this year are the Mickey pumpkins. So here's Minnie, it's the first time she's actually shown up as well. And of course they have the Mickey one to match it as well. And I do like how these actually light up this time instead of like the disco ball that we have on ours. But again, if you want some of the Halloween time merchandise, it's all in this store. Guys, is it just me or do they like kind of cheap up every single year? I don't know, I'm, I'm quite ashamed of this hat. I love wearing my dad hats and this one I am not a huge fan of. But what about you guys? Let me know in the comment section down below. I would actually love to hear if you guys are gonna be picking this one up. And on the back, it says boo to you. And it also looks like we have one of those like wristband strap things. It's been such a long time since I've actually seen one of these, but Again, it's keeping to the pumpkin patch theme for this year here at the parks. And this is not new for like Halloween, but it's something that I actually haven't seen. And this will run you $29.99. I think it looks really cool. If it wasn't a crop top, I know Nicole would like it. I know she's not like a huge fan of crop tops, but it does look really cool. I do like it, how it says Mexico right here on the bottom. I have reunited with Nicole and Raylani, and she ended up apparently with a I was gonna say coconut. That is not a coconut. Pineapple. Pineapple. It actually is a very tasty cookie, but it is soft baked, so just be careful if you are walking that they don't like choke on it because it is pretty like moist and I don't know. It's, moist. It's we could say moist, moist on yeah, this channel. Yeah, it's that's okay. What it is. <laughs> and before we go over to Batu, we actually wanted to point out this little area that we saw when we were on the Mark Twain. What was it last week? And we noticed there was like some seating areas over here, which is kind of cool. So kind of like the other spot that we saw that was over there earlier. 
here's another wonderful place you guys can come sit at. And we have our toddler video or what to do with the toddler video at Disneyland coming out tomorrow, I believe. So this is that area that we were talking about. But now that we finished in this area, we're heading inside of Batu. There is a new drink that we've been wanting to try for quite some time. And today will finally be the day we could try it. And we are officially in Batu. What a nice blue sky. What do you guys think? Really, really blue. Not too many people. It's kind of nice. And it actually looks like we have Chewy already. So let's see if we can say hi to Chewy. Chewy! You can do it, you can do it. Chewy! Do your brain? <laughs> 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 it might help with the heat. <laughs> I got him to laugh. After all that fiasco, we let me got to do the chewy call and he was commenting on her braid. So I was like, I can actually braid your hair too. And I actually got the cast member to laugh or chewy himself. It was actually very funny. And we have arrived to Katsakas. So we're in the marketplace in Batu, and here at Katsakas, there is a new drink. We have the Darsimir Sprint Slush. So from what I read in the description, it's like a watermelon slush. It has yogurt and some popping pearls. It does have this really beautiful dust on top, so it looks nothing like the picture. I'm gonna go ahead and take my first drink and then tell you what I think. Cheers. So far, just off of that initial sip, I got just cream, but it tastes like fresas con crema, so I am a fan of it. There are some popping pearls on the bottom. Let me try to get a stir going and then take one full drink. Here's what it looks like after it's mixed for sip. Not bad. I was so skeptical of this because I just read yogurt and I was like, oh, no way. But it's actually very good. Like I said, it tastes like fresas con crema. And then I'm not a fan of popping pearls. However, the pearls inside of here taste like the yokel, like probiotic drink. So I'm going to give this a five out of five. So good. Guys, I think I could give like the biggest compliment. I want to shake the person's hand who created that drink because it is that good. And I feel like that's very high praise for me to be like, I love something, especially here in the park. Sometimes the creativity can get too out of hand um, where it's cool looking and it tastes terrible. But that is like five all around. All right, we're coming to Docking Bay 7 to pick up a black calf for a fun little reel that we're going to be putting out. <laughs> And bingo, we just got our black calf. So I found like a funny little like reel or idea that Henry and I really don't do much of, but maybe we'll start because it just seems so funny, but it got me a black calf out of it. And as we're waiting right here, I just realized Nicole just pointed this out. We have ourselves a hidden Mickey. Blue milk wins, blue milk wins, blue milk wins. No. So we're heading back to the Pixar Pals playtime area. It is actually so sad because Pixar Fest is about to end and that makes me kind of sad. But hopefully it returns next year. We have a fun food that we want to try over here. So let's get to it. All right, right outside of Toontown, guys, can you believe this? There are more walls that are up. But in this area is actually where we can go to the Pixar Pals playtime area. So let's go. So we made our way over here to Fantasyland. At Troubadour Tavern, we're gonna finally try the Una Papa Loca. So this is gonna be a baked potato with chicken al pastor. It has an avocado green salsa, some cilantro, and then some spicy corn fritters up on top with sour cream. It smells really delicious. I feel like I am a little bit hesitant with chicken al pastor here at the park, but I'm gonna keep an open mind and dig right on in. All right, cheers. Wow, Disney is on a good streak with me today. That potato is actually very good, very flavorful with the al pastor. I did quite enjoy it a lot. Um, and then the green avocado salsa that's on there had a nice tang to it. So overall, that dish is like a five out of five for me. Again, like I said, in the past, we have had al pastor dishes here at the park and I'm not a fan of it whatsoever, but that was very, very good. We are officially the first people going inside for our last time here at he picks our pals playtime.
What a treat it was to go see the Pixar Plow Playtime area one more time. It was so awesome because we got there right at their rope drop. So we got to see Russell first thing. We did get a chance to see Luca and Alberto, which was nice because we didn't get to see them together the first time. Um, it was so funny, Raylani was telling them both that she likes to go up to Machiavelli and be like, mean Machiavelli, and kind of hiss at him, which is actually pretty hilarious. And they were very sweet with their interaction with Raylani. So what a great memory for our very first Pixar Fest ever. And then we ended it off with the classic, which is barley. Barley is so funny, very sweet. So I am sad to see that area go, but overall it was a great time. So it looks like the restrooms in this area is actually closed for deep cleaning. Good job to those cast members doing that deep cleaning. <laughs> Man, Pixar Fest, I am truly going to miss you. All right, everyone, so that pretty much wraps up our video. We wanna say a big thank you to all of our Patreon members and our YouTube channel members. Thank you guys so much for the support. We truly appreciate it. And with all that being said, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed and tap that notification bell to be notified when we do drop a new video. And like we always say, may you always have magical adventure. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs>